Alright guys, welcome to Unit 4, Day 3. Solving inequality word problems. Alright, let's go. Okay, there we go. Haley wants to save at least $40 for her trip to the amusement park. It's going to be important. So let's see if I can. At least $40. So far, she has saved $32. That's what she currently has. How much more does Haley have to save? I'm looking for how much more. Okay. So I've got the idea. All right, let's define our variable. So what we're trying to figure out is how much more does she have to save? So let's go ahead and call it, I don't know, M for money. M. All right, so that's going to be um that's going to be money. Sorry, guys. To save. Okay. Now we're going to write our inequality, but let's see what we're talking about. Haley wants to save at least $40. And at least, remember, that was one of those phrases that you really have to think about. So you know that on a graph, at least 40 would be uh, 40. And everything that's greater than 40. So at least it's going to be greater than or equal to 40. Okay, so that's good. So I've got that part. So something is going to be greater than or equal to 40. Now what she currently has is she currently has $32. So I know she has 32. And I'm going to add to it the amount of money that she still has to save. And once she saves that money and she adds it to 32, that thing better be greater than or equal to 40. It could be 50, it could be 60, but it cannot be 39. It could even be 40. So now let's solve. So we will subtract 32 from each side. And I'll end up with M is greater than or equal to 8. So the amount of money that she has to save is at least eight dollars. And that's good. Okay. Wrong way. Okay, here we go. Brandon's MP3 player has 20 meg of memory. He's already downloaded 11 meg. How many more meg of data can Brandon download? So let's highlight the important information. Okay, it has 20 meg. That's what he currently has. Um, he has already downloaded 11 meg. I'm trying to figure out how many more meg can he download. Okay, so what I'm trying to figure out my variable is how many more meg can be downloaded. So I'll call that um I'll call that whoops. I'll call that D for data. You can call it anything you want to. Okay, so now I have 20, and I've already downloaded 11. Let's see, how much more can I download? I can keep on downloading until I hit what number? Until I hit 20. That's where I've got to stop. So the amount of memory that I can, the amount of data, rather, that I can actually have has to be, could it be 19? Yeah. Could it be 20? Yeah. Could it be 21? No. So that amount of that amount has to be less than or equal to 20. And so we're talking about 11 meg 
plus whatever he chooses to download. And he can keep on downloading to his heart's content. It's just got to be less than or equal to 20, that total. So how do we solve it? All right, we want D by ourselves. So let's subtract 11 from both sides. We end up with D is less than or equal to 9. So basically, Brandon can download any amount of data that's less than or equal to 9 meg. So the data has to be less than or equal to 9 meg. Okay. All right. You go ahead and try the next one. Let's find it. Okay. Doug is working 30 hours, at, oh, more than 30 hours each week. He's already worked 17 hours. How many hours does he have left to work? Remember, my inequality is concerned about more than 30 hours. That's what I'm trying to get to. I would draw a graph and see what more than 30 hours actually looks like. Does it include 30? I don't know. Think about it. Okay. Delmar makes overtime pay when he works more than 40 hours a week. Think about what more than means. Remember, that doesn't include 40. Samuel needs to read at least 97 pages of a book for homework. Think about what at least 97 looks like. And see if you can get there if you start with the 34 pages he's already read. Let's try one of these together. Jessica goes to the store with $15 to buy salad. Bags of salad are on sale for $2 each. What is the possible number of bags that Jessica can buy? Okay, so I'm looking for the possible number of bags that she can buy. What I know is she has $15. Okay, so she's got $15. And salad costs $2 each. Okay, so my variable is going to be, I'll call it B for, that's the number, that's, I'll call it the bags of salad. Actually, what we're talking about is really the number of bags of salad. Okay, now she's got $15, so what does that tell me? It tells me that her budget's $15. That means how much can she spend? Could she spend 14? Yeah. Could she spend 15? Yeah. Could she spend 16? No. Okay, so I know, like I already graphed this thing, the amount of her budget. Let's see, if that's 15, she can really, she can spend 15 and anything less than 15. Oh, cool. So that's telling me that I'm looking for something that's going to be less than or equal to 15. Now the salad costs $2 each. So that means I'm going to be multiplying the number of bags that she's buying by 2. So here we go. So basically, 2 times the number of bags must be less than or equal to 15. All right, so how are we going to solve it? So we're going to divide both sides by 2. And I'll end up with B is less than or equal to 7.5. Cool. So what are the possible number of bags that she can buy? Oh, anything less than 7.5. No. We're going to stop and we're actually going to give a reasonable answer. Because she can't buy 7.2 bags of salad. She can't buy 6.1 bags of salad. And she can't buy negative four bags of salad. But she could buy zero, or one, or two, 
or three or four or five or six or seven and that's where I stop she can't buy eight bags of salad so these are the number of bags of salad that she can possibly buy with her fifteen dollars I'm sorry that, that my pen isn't working well okay want you to try this Mackenzie's got a big old store credit let's see how many CDs she can buy remember you cannot buy a partial CD and you can't buy a negative CD okay good luck and I'll see you in class Thank you.